Assalamu alaikum, everybody. Um, I'm Evan, if you don't know. And uh, my speech is on why we're here and how to get back to God, inshallah. Why we are here and how to get back to Him. We are here because we did not uphold God's absolute authority. Zerah 38, 69. I had no knowledge previously about the feud in the high society. 38, 69. The feud in the high society was triggered by Satan's challenge to challenge to God's absolute authority. This is definitely the most important event in the history of the human race. We failed to make a firm stand regarding God's absolute authority. This life represents the third and the final chance to redeem ourselves. Freedom of choice. 30, 3372. We have offered the responsibility, freedom of choice, to the heavens and the earth and the mountains, but they refuse to bear it, and we are and we're afraid of it. But the human being accepted it. He was transgressing, ignorant. Thirty-three seventy-two. The animals, trees, stars, etc., took advantage of this. Now here is where I'm gonna just use the introduction to a read from. The humans, the hardcore rebels, humans and jinns, refused to denounce their crime and opted for witnessing a demonstration of Satan's claim. These o o egotistical, ego egotistic creatures who failed to submit to God's absolute authority even when offered a chance to do so. We are divided in half. The half that were less convinced of Satan's point of view became classified as humans. Although they harbor doubt about Satan's claim, they failed to make a firm stance regarding, absolute, regarding God's absolute authority. It is the ego that prevented those creatures from appreciating God's omniscience, omnipotence. It is the ego that prevented them from submitting when such an opportunity was offered to them. 3372, and it is the ego that stands between the most of us and redemption to God's kingdom. 2543, this is why kill your ego is one of the first commandments in the Quran. So we know that the human being is the most argumentative creature out of all the creatures, and these are some things about humans. We want to follow our opinions. We never want to hear that we're wrong. We don't listen as much as we should. We talk a lot. We get bothered from our brothers and especially sisters. We complain a lot about little things without even knowing. And there's much more that I didn't even say and much more that we don't even know. Kill your ego, 254. Recall, the Mo recall that Moses said to his people, oh my people, you have wronged your souls by worshiping the calf. You must repent to your creator. You shall kill your egos. This is better for you in the sight of your Creator. He did redeem you. He is the Redeemer, most merciful. 2.54 It is the ego that led to Satan's fall. It is the ego that caused our exile to this world. And it is the ego that is keeping most of us from redemption to, king, to God's kingdom. So the same with us. It is our ego that can make us object to God and to what God is doing. Is our ego that can cause us to go astray and off of God's path, and we need to make sure that that doesn't happen, and that we return to God. Inshallah. Two, two. This scripture is in inflammable, inflammable, inflammable. Thank you. A beacon for the righteous. This this scripture is from God, and has all the information you need to get back to Him. It's a beacon that will lead you home to God. It's like school. You have to study it, follow what's inside of it, and reverence God in everything you do to you know, pass the test. God says in 5679, only the sincere can understand the Quran. On the day of resurrection, God will come down to this world and the world will crumble. If your soul is not big enough to withstand God's presence, you'll be blown away. But if your soul is strong enough, to withstand God's presence, He will save you. Inshallah. 
God gives us many ways to grow our soul so we can handle God's presence on the day of resurrection. Charity, Zikr, Night of Destiny, mashallah, Conference, etc. Mashallah. We need to use these to grow our soul and studying the message so God will give us knowledge. This world can be distractions in many ways. Your car, your money, your children, and your house. Many more, obviously. The angels want to, wanted us to put us to, into hell, put us to hell. But God was so merciful, he gave us a chance to come back to him. We could be burning in hell right now. But if it wasn't for God's mercy, thank God. I too, I too have weaknesses. Like everyone else, no one is perfect except God. Some of the weaknesses, some of the weaknesses I have, complaining, getting annoyed, talking too much when I don't need to, and not being patient. Obviously, these are things that I need to fix. And, yeah. 16, 127. You shall resort to patience, and your patience is attainable only with God's help. Do not grieve over them, and do not be annoyed by their schemes. So, we all know why we're here, and we need to honestly focus on how to get back our souls and study the religion and continue to ask God to guide us and not to be bothered over anything or anyone, even if it's your brothers, your parents, sisters, anyone. This isn't just a reminder for you. Of course, it's for me too. Like, you know, I have weaknesses and this is obviously for me. It's mostly for me. God gave us this chance he gave us this world, this message, so I use this chance wisely. I know you will. Thank you. All right, I have a question for you, uh, Evan. Go ahead. So, what would you, what's your advice to give if you do like, let's say you do get annoyed, like what would you, what was your advice, or how do you handle that kind of situation? Well. Obviously, don't get annoyed, but if you are getting annoyed, I mean, well, and the messenger says uh, to keep repeating, God is running everything. You like your zikr, you should always keep saying it. And if you do get annoyed, that will come to mind, inshallah. Inshallah. Any other questions or comments for Mr. Evan? Okay, we have one. Great. Oh, hi, Maura. Yes. Hey, I want to hear this one. Um, I got a prize for Evan. Okay. All right. Let's see this. Hand him his prize. Okay, and we got a, another question from, oh, wow. or maybe comment from Ben. It's a princess standing outside of the house with a tall flower. Mashallah. Thank you, Moira. I love you. I will right. keep that. Um, I was just wondering, what do you get annoyed by? Like, I don't know, Mindplex or something? Well, My, Minecraft? You. <laughs> you get annoyed by Minecraft? Well, I get annoyed by you, <laughs> my brothers, my sister. <laughs> um, I get annoyed by many things. Of course I shouldn't. But uh, like I said, what I said to you, keep in mind that God is running everything. Uh, yes. When when you get not annoyed anymore, like when you've um, fixed yourself, do you find yourself becoming less annoyed with the same things? Repeat it, please. Like, sorry, I worded it badly. Like yeah. when you get over something and you you tell yourself that it's not worth getting annoyed over anymore, and you become stronger, does it become easier when like the same thing happens to control yourself? Well, if it it depends if I first fix it. And if I do, the next time, yes, mashallah, it does get easier. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. I'm, I'm, I'm the last one. Okay. <laughs> um, I, I, I just want to say how impressed I am Thank by you. Um, your understanding at your age, which I heard is 13. I wanted to verify that with you. Mashallah. Is that correct? Yes. Uh, and... Um, you know, 
Evan, Evan under, un, I'm sorry, under un, the understanding of the concept that you brought up of, you know, the things annoying you and objecting, and this is a very advanced concept, and um, really impressed, and um, uh, I got news for you, it's, it's, it's something that I still deal with at my age, and uh, coming up on 10 years in submission, and um, so the sooner you start and recognizing it, uh, the sooner you can start coming up with ways to overcome it. So, wonderful job. Thank you, Marshall. Hey, Marshall, perfect. So.